Yes. Hooks it back inside Vagos. Yes. Yes. He scored yes. for Vagos. He needed that. <laughs> what a goal that is. Head. Burnley lead at Brighton. Brighton of Albion nil. Burnley won. Say it. Het is gewaltig. It is magnificent. Yes. What a finish. <laughs> this has been a fantastic first half so far. 21 minutes gone. Where just as you said earlier, we are playing like Burnley of old. We've got some guile about us. Every ball we're trying to win and when we lose it, we're back up there straight away. No compromise. Today is going to be a victory. I'm expecting another two. That See you shortly. A... There is disarray in uh, the Brighton the camp here. That's what's going the on. Wash. And we've mixed it up. We've turned it around. We've changed direction every single time. He's then beaten three players <laughs> to have a shot on goal. Uh, but Brighton are fighting amongst themselves. So uh, the only way is down for them at the moment. And, and the coaching staff are all holding their hands on saying, what the hell is going on to no the Brighton team? Has. Expecting three boys, as I said, expecting we did, three. We said that. But at half-time here, Brighton and Albion nil. Burnley two. Lads, what a half that yeah. was. Wasn't that phenomenal? And as predicted, we have changed as a team. We have got the guile. We've got the teeth back. But I have to say, Vout is a, a just a different league. When he's not actually on the ball, he's constantly talking in a way that you can see everyone is reacting to. Everyone's raised the game just like when Maxwell Cornet came in. Yes, everyone yes, raised the yeah. game. And now we've got Cornet and we've got Vout. Between the two of them, they might just drag us out of this mire. And what a phenomenal first half. You can't criticise anybody. McNeil, oh, no, absolutely no. Back, back to his, to his best. best. Yes, I thought that. Taking people on, looking to dribble past them. Past he them. looked back to his best. I mean, what is it? What is it about Val? I mean, what, why have sides not gambled on him in the I, past? I don't, wait, it's, He's I, I 29, don't by it's, the way. But it's like Corne. In, in the same way, it's like Corne. You know, why hasn't somebody signed him? Under he, the radar. He's come out like a rocket for us. And, uh, you know, he's been, he's been overshadowed by Val at the moment. And that's just fantastic news. Because it's been a long time since Burnley have had two players that can overshadow each other and we're not relying on just you know yeah. one player or yeah. or hoping that the team effort gets us there now <laughs> yeah, we've got a right. team effort today right, and we've got right. two star players up the front what a finish from Aaron Lennon he celebrated 400 Premier League games last week well he celebrated with a goal today Brighton nil, Burnley 3 what a goal for Lennon boys what did I say do you want to rub the jacket now the yellow jacket of luck is here my friends and not since Fulham have we won wow. the yellow jacket it brings us three. Kiss my jacket, gentlemen. What a finish. No, go on. Let's see the replay. Lennon has come back to life, hasn't he? Everybody yes. thought he was done and dusted in a squad player, and he's proven exceptional. <laughs> what skill, what feet. Veghorst has been playing well again this half, but Brighton have, have tried to spread the play and march down the left-hand side. I thought it was getting dangerous, and I was, was. starting to get worried. Was. But that should bury the I, game now. Three. I mean what an afternoon indeed and uh, you have to say this has been coming for the last couple of weeks we've been building up to it and somebody deserved a proper spanking and it has been Brighton and the lucky yellow jacket is now available <laughs> at 99.99 from all good retail outlets that is your job to be fair it is isn't it yeah yeah, yeah it is yeah. yes yeah so I'll, I'll see I mean, you two will be kitted out in it but you have to say I mean to a man you, you, who could you say today wasn't 8 out of 10 at yeah, least I'm, on that team I'm, I'm, I'm and was a really, nine. Yeah, he, you know? he, he's, how has he gone under the radar? I yeah. know I keep saying that. I know. He was magnificent. He put absolutely everything into it. He absolutely he? did, didn't he? Yeah, he talked all the way through. His movement was phenomenal. That goal was just dreamlike beauty. I mean, it's the kind of Premier League goal you would absolutely dream of scoring if you're a striker. It was subtle. It was almost gentle the way he did it. And he was so casual about it. But it only comes through good practice. And you can see... That's exactly the kind of player he is. He practices hard. He tells the rest of the team to follow him. And he's been a, a, a great example today of what Burnley need to be for the rest of the season. He's across there applauding the fans, isn't it? So, I mean, everybody's uh, milking it in. Only our second Premier League win of the season, but it's a biggie. It is. It's obviously huge. And we've got to win at Palace next week and, and take a point from Spurs. And if we do that, you just never know. Because no. it's uh, with team performances like this, it's turning round. And we've seen it come we've seen it coming and just yes. not got the look yes well yeah. we didn't need luck today we had commitment and that's made a huge difference a word for Aaron Lennon uh, so sometimes goes under the radar a little bit Aaron doesn't yeah. he uh, 400 Premier League appearances last weekend yeah he's still up there with the uh, with the best very fast feet I mean what's interesting is at that age you'd think well probably now you know you'll bring him on occasionally and you'll let him play the odd uh, the odd game and a cameo appearance 
but he was phenomenal today and to get that goal and again that was with a plum what what a finish uh, you'd be jealous of that whoever you are in the Premier League you know his next move will be Man City <laughs>